My name's Ushman, and I enjoy nature. So, so I wanted to start a nature documentary show where I take you on a journey through the wonderful world of Earth, and I teach you a few things about what we see along the way. Now, I don't have a formal education in botany or ecology, but I've seen my fair share of nature documentary shows, and I have a pretty good memory. My name is Ushman, and I am a seasoned nature expeditionaire. From my vast experiences, I've gained a wealth of knowledge that I will now pass on to you. From caving in New Zealand, to discovering wild animals in Africa, from the coldest corners of Alaska, to the hottest deserts in Texas, I'll bring you along on my- Oh, wait, 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 I also got bit by a baby cheetah once. I'll bring you along on my journey through this planet we call Earth, because this is Ushwin Enjoys Nature. On today's episode of Ushwin Enjoys Nature, we've come to the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge in Denver, Colorado. This land used to be owned by the government and was used for military and chemical testing, and oil companies drilled on it. Ever since then, they realized the land was too toxic for humans to develop on, but just toxic enough for a wildlife refuge. Now hopefully on today's journey, we'll see some of that wildlife. Today's journey begins on Legacy Trail. This refuge is well known for its abundance of wildlife. But after a full 120 seconds of not seeing any of this wildlife, I started to worry about my prospects. But just when I was about to give up hope, a family of mule deer appeared. As you can see in the distance, we have a couple of mule deer. Contrary to popular belief, mule deer are actually not hybrids between mules and deer. It's actually donkey. In this harsh winter climate, it's tough to find any greenery around. Prairie ecosystems in the winter are covered by brown dead plant material as they wait for spring to bloom again. Even plants like the cactus dry out. But some plants find the will to survive and they keep their green color. That's why these plants are called evergreens. We continue on Legacy Trail into a vast meadow of prairie shrub, but if your eyes are glued to the ground, you'll miss the unique species that fly above. Oh, no way! Whoa, you can see in the distance, a bird. With all these lifeless plants, you may wonder, Ushwin, are these animals dehydrated? But an oasis is soon ahead. At the end of Legacy Trail, we arrive on Lake Mary Lake. This lake is the lifeblood of this prairie ecosystem. It's home to many freshwater wildlife, such as fish. And you can tell if it's a healthy lake or not just by looking at the liquidity of it. And for this lake, it appears 0.3 to 0.7, which is good. Lake Mary is well known for freezing below 32 degrees, but there are still some liquid areas which provide shelter for water-dwelling birds. But as we soon realize, birds don't only dwell in water. Sometimes the most dangerous birds you encounter are right above you. Oh, no, no, no. I, th I think it is. It's a woodpecker. We have to be very careful. We'll try to get closer, but we need to keep our distance. These are very volatile creatures. Let's inch closer. That was a close one. Huh. Moments like those remind you that these parks are truly wild. Danger can jump out at you at any moment. But not with these next creatures. If you look in the distance, you can see some white-tailed deer. The difference between the white-tailed deer and mule deer is that the white-tailed deer have white, bushy, pelvic extremities or tail. Proof is in the pudding. Look at all hours stretch on in this desolate land. 
But just as I'm about to be worn thin, the pride and soul of this refuge appears. The buffalo. Oh, oh, what, oh. You see the buffalo? Now what's interesting about these buffalo is that they're actually not native to Denver. They were brought down from Montana to create a stable herd in this refuge. These bison have become so iconic that they even named the local football team after them. Denver Broncos! Almost exterminated by American hunters in the 1800s, the bison population has seen a minor resurgence in the last century thanks to wildlife protection and the ability to camouflage. And as the buffalo rest and contemplate their lineage, it's a good moment for us to reflect on our own trek through this wildlife refuge. The day began covered in a haunting darkness, yet we were able to brave the tumultuous flat terrain and experience the refuge that these wildlife call home. From the burrowing cottontail to the angsty buffalo, I can truly say that I enjoyed this nature.